what this you didn't expect this did you you thought like a black shirt or a t-shirt or something like that i know it's a surprise i'm almost as surprised as you are Listen, I was talking to a group of people today about productivity and they were talking about what they have to do to produce better results. And as I was talking to them, I thought back to how I learned a lot about my own productivity. A few years ago, I found a software program called Airtable and it's a spreadsheet and a database combined. So it functions like a spreadsheet, but it's really a relational database. So it's a super cool little software and I'll put a link here where you can go and download it and get a trial. The very first table that I set up, or I think they call it a base, was time tracking. And what I did is I literally for four or five weeks tracked everything I did hour by hour, minute by minute, making sure that I accounted for every single place where I invested my time or spent my time so I could look at it. And that's one table in Airtable. But you can have multiple tables together. So I put another table behind that one or another base they call it. And in that base, I put down my major projects. Like these are the most important things like writing books and stuff like that. And then after the five weeks, I went and I downloaded all that data into a spreadsheet and I turned it into a pivot table because yes, I am just that nerdy that I would take this data and make a pivot table out of it so I could sort it different ways. And the first thing I did is looked at big categories. How much time do I spend in each of these categories? And I had a happy result and I had a not so happy result. So the happy result was I was spending four times as much time as I thought I was with my family. And that's mostly because sometimes I'd be with just my son and sometimes just my wife and sometimes one twin and then not the other twin. Sometimes both twins and the wife, sometimes the wife and the boy. And when it all added up, it looked really good. And so I was happy. But then I looked at my major projects and my major projects were not getting done. And I'm a busy guy. I work really hard. I'm very focused. I have a task manager. I plan my weeks. I'm really disciplined about my work time. That said, when I looked at it, I realized I'd done a lot of work, but almost none of it was attached to my major projects. And it gave me the insight, wait a second, what's crowding these things out? And I got a look and I found out there are a lot of task-based things that don't really move the needle. And there are a lot of projects that really don't move the needle. And even though they're important, and even though I want to do that work, I had to resist that work because I had to put time on my projects. And I know this. So I blocked 90 minute chunks every day, 90 minutes for this major project, another 90 for this project. And it turns out that three 90 minute blocks starts cleaning projects up just like that. So if you have a major project and a major outcome, you have to get it on your calendar. But first you have to know where are you spending your time? How much of it spent in email? How much of your time is spent on the web browsing? How many times did you look at ESPN or CNN or CNBC or CNBC, whatever it is that, that, that tends to draw your attention? How much time did you spend there? How much time did you spend in front of the television watching mindless television just because you need an escape? And it's not that these things are bad, they're not. They're just bad when they crowd out your major projects. If you want to be productive, here's what I recommend. Just get a piece of paper, a legal pad, and start writing down everything you do, where you spend your time. At the end of a week or two, look at it. And then decide how much of that time is being spent on what's most important to you. And if you're not spending time there, change what you're doing. Give yourself some 90-minute blocks, couple three blocks a day, and move those major projects forward because that's what's most important. And that's what true productivity is. It's moving the big rocks not even the medium-sized rocks, and certainly it's not worrying about the tiny rocks that make no difference. Be productive, hit the like button, hit the share button, and uh, do hit the subscribe button. This is Even in a Suit Every Day.